In today's video, I'm gonna dive into or showcase six pieces of tech which I find very beneficial when it comes to improving my quality of health and of course also my quality of work on a daily basis. Just nice little small things. First and foremost, I'm gonna show you guys the Lumion Light Alarm Clock, which is what I have right here beside my bedside. Now, this is a relatively recent purchase, but it's a uh, product which I've really enjoyed using as of late. And of course, the basic premise of it being that it gradually increases the light exposure or brightness of the light over a period of 15 minutes, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on the duration you set, and therefore gently awakens you from sleep. Now, I do appreciate this product can be somewhat expensive. It's, I believe, like 50, 80, maybe even 100 quid from Lumi specifically. There are cheap alternatives on Amazon, but it's a product that I would recommend to most individuals that are looking to, of course, improve their sleep quality. And those individuals that have difficulty getting out of bed first thing upon waking, feel a little bit groggy, a little bit lethargic, etc. This has been a great benefit to me, and I would very much recommend it. In terms of this office space, so I moved into this about this apartment like a month ago now. So I've just started to kind of piece together all my bits and bobs here. Um, so I'll, I'll refer to a few, a few tools. First one being this little stopwatch, which I'm using on my, my desk. So personally, I don't work in my desk environment or my office environment with my phone, nor any other distractions. Uh, actually, also in this instance, I want to ensure my work quality in terms of blocks is as high as it possibly could be, it's as good as it possibly can be. So this thing here is a little rotating kind of like stopwatch dial thing. So my work block specifically, generally about 60 minutes long in duration, I like having this here as kind of like a mental cue to put a little bit of time pressure on me to get my work done. I keep it here, nothing else, no other tech, anything like this. Just a cool little thing on Amazon for like 10 quid and I really do enjoy this thing. Another device we'll look into of course is my red light panel which I'll plug in here for you guys. I love my red light panel, it's been massively beneficial when it comes to clearing my skin, it also improves recovery um, from a physical perspective but also more importantly improves my mood and energy on a daily basis, particularly in winter months. As you can see it's very very bright. This panel specifically is from Juve, um, I do really like this panel, but there are panels that are cheaper, other alternatives, because Juve's on a more premium price end. But I would encourage you guys that have the financial resources to do so, to pick one of these up. Um, again, in terms of the, this product specifically, it's a relatively new product or piece of tech, and therefore the evidence supporting its use isn't something which is necessarily substantial yet. Um, it's something which is, is there, but isn't something as, as debated or rather as researched fully as other, for example, like supplements, whatever it may be. But uh, I do really like this product and I, I do enjoy it very much so from a subjective and anecdotal perspective. And that brings us through to my Lumi SAD panel. So I'll ping this up here. This thing has been a blessing for me in the winter months, specifically returning from Dubai. So of course it's pretty gloomy outside, it gets dark very early in the UK, like 4 or 5 pm-ish. And uh, I spend a lot of my time working, so obviously I get in about 10 to 15,000 steps per day in natural sunlight. I don't do that in the gym environment or on a treadmill or anything, I do it outside. Uh, also, I train on a daily basis, but other than that, I tend not to leave. I'm pretty much working the entire time, tipping the winds about, putting my head down, etc. This thing's been great when it comes to replicating natural sunlight from an artificial perspective. Um, it's something which I incorporate for about six hours per day, which is pretty extensive, I must admit. Um, but it's something which I've really enjoyed incorporating. That's a Lumi um, SAD panel as well. But again, you can incorporate different variations of this or cheap alternatives from Amazon. Great product, would very much recommend it. Really, really enjoy it in the winter months specifically. Purchase number four, which is my Herman Miller chair. Those of you that are into your health, you may have looked into other ergonomic chairs. And for me personally, I've purchased quite a few in my ears, uh, and they're great. But this chair specifically has been absolutely awesome. Really love this thing, both from an aesthetic perspective. I think it's really, really cool. The web back is great. Also with the, uh, the arms, that can actually elevate the press, which is cool. And also move side to side, and also forward and back, which has been great as well. Particularly given that my previous chairs, my ergonomic chairs, didn't have the arms which adjusted. And therefore, in terms of contact with my standing desk, it was pretty irritating. I couldn't actually get tight enough into my desk because the arms were conflict with that, that perspective of it. So this has been a great tool. Really do recommend this for individuals that have potentially lower back issues or lumbar spine issues. Myself, personally, as a result of my lower body training, on occasion, I do feel a little bit of tightness in my lower back. And obviously, that would be indicative of the fact I need to improve my posterior chain. But nonetheless, from a, from a recovery perspective, this has been great in terms of supporting my lower back. I really love this product. It's been absolutely awesome. This brings me to another product here, which is my standing desk. Now, I've had many, many conversations with many people about the utility of this and whether or not it's something which I do use personally. I use this for the majority of my calls. Now, obviously, being a coach, uh, jumping on calls with the clients I'm working with, I take, like, on average, six calls per day. I'm quite busy with them. And therefore, this tool specifically has been brilliant to ensure my energy is as high as it possibly can be on those calls specifically. If I'm sitting down, I tend to feel maybe a little bit lethargic, groggy, etc. Even in the fastest state, whilst caffeinated, and this product's been a bit of a blessing for me because it's enabled me to move around like this whilst taking my calls, 
which is great, feels much more natural as a movement, and I would very much incorporate this for or encourage all individuals to incorporate selling desks if they have the financial means to do so. I believe this desk specifically cost about 350, maybe 400 pounds, but it's been, a, it's been a great investment. And also for me, again, it, I really like ensuring that I'm actually incorporating some more movement in my work day as opposed to just sitting down in a stage three position. And also thinking about, of course, breathing through my diaphragm and also making sure my lower back is as supported as possible by contracting my abs and of course my glutes as well. If I feel like there's a little bit of tension arising as a result of standing up for extended periods of time, which some people will definitely experience as a result of not incorporating much standing throughout the working day if you're working for eight to 10 hours per day. But uh, that's just a little review of uh, the products I've purchased as of late whilst being into my new flat. I hope you guys enjoy that. If you guys found any value in the video, of course, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and drop me any questions you have in the comment section down below where the links to these products will be.